Libra, this is your weekly reading. Let's see what we have for you. There's something you're not giving up on. Even though it had a lot of difficulties and hardships, you're not giving up on something. Because there's something about you cherishing it, even if it's been a pain in the ass, you still want to cherish it. This can be a person or even a career. Nine could be of significance to you. Wow. Spirit is telling you, let go. There is something better. If you don't move on, you will repeat a cycle. You need to choose yourself first. You need to make sure that you're connected to your higher self because that's where you'll know what to focus on. Let go, Libra. Let go and move on because spirit has got your back and spirit is trying to um, tell you that your life will be for the better without this situation or this person. And when you connect to your higher self, you'll know exactly what you should prioritize. So I feel like you could have your priorities mixed. There is a lot of um, negative self-talk or like uh, suppressing emotions and I don't know why my forehead just tingled. Libra, there is something uh, like there is um, there has to be some type of realization about the situation because it it, it seems like it's um, it's affecting you negatively without you being aware. It is the suppression of the emotions, the pessimism, the negative self-talk that is in the way. And if this is you, spirit is like telling you this is a problem. It needs your attention. It needs your attention immediately, and that card fell. You need to come to the light. You need to come to the light where spirit can can be clearer. You need to connect to your higher self again because you will receive downloads from the spirit realm to guide you through this. And even if it takes time, even if this is slow, even if you will need time to process the things that we talked about and to connect to your higher self, it's okay. As long as you take the steps towards it, you will see like instant kind of change in your energy. It doesn't matter, like the destination isn't the answer here, but the journey. 
Spirit wants you to, to kind of shift your energy here because there is something that is uh, unhealthily growing in your energy without you realizing. Wow, there's so many cards here that are indicating that you need to connect to spirit. What is this? Like you could be the fifth reading this week of the same fucking message in, in one way or the other. You know what I mean? Like the amount of readings that I've done this week that says you need to connect to spirit. You have a message there. There is a lot of disconnect at this time. What the fuck is happening? collectively it's like being sucked in the sucked in the matrix again what is this pull give me another message for libra There's a person here that's sucking your energy. That needs to go. You need to cut this person out. You need to confront this person and tell them to fuck off, basically. It could be the same person that we that you refuse to let go of, but it could be another person because I feel like here you are emotionally invested, but here I feel like it could be like a friend or a colleague or someone that has no business minding your business but they still overstep so you're going to tell them to basically there's something about being kind to this person instead of aggressive though Uber. <clears throat> I don't know why, but that's what came out as well. Yeah, what a reading. It's weird. But I'll leave you with that. <laughs> if you want a personal reading, uh, my email is in the description box. This is a general, so if you don't, if you don't resonate with it, that's fine. Don't try to make a bad situation fit just because it's your sign. Doesn't make any sense. Libras have so many other placements in their chart that makes them so different than the Libra next to them. Okay? So, I can't have all the Libra's energies in one reading. That's just crazy thinking. Okay? But I'll see you soon, Libra. Okay?